In this video I'm going to show you how to construct a sensitivity analysis and we're going to do it with Streves Casting Company and use data tables. So we have a model here where we have uh, capital budgeting analysis, we've projected some cash flows, we have calculated a net present value, an internal rate of return, and a modified internal rate of return and what we're going to do now is construct a sensitivity analysis to see how sensitive our net present value output variable is to selections of some of the variables uh, and in this case we're going to do it with unit sales price and weighted average cost of capital unit sold and salvage value so the first thing I did in order to do a sensitivity analysis is decide how much I want my base case variables to vary in the sensitivity analysis and in this case somewhat arbitrarily I chose varying from base case which is 0% change to 15 and 30% below and 15 and 30% above the base case and the way I constructed this for what's going to end up being our data table is I entered in this slightly brownish cell the base case value, for example, our unit sales price was $200 uh, in our base case, and notice that that is actually hardwired into there. $200 is hardwired into there. And then I <clears throat> referred back to my change from base case level values in constructing my unit sales price for 15% and 30% below and above and notice I can use exactly the same formula because I've been very careful about using my absolute and relative cell references I've noticed noticed that that uh, a68 has the uh, a the column lockdown and c69 which is the amount that we're going to be uh, changing it by has the row locked down and I'll be able to actually copy this various places in order without having to create a new uh, create a new formula so as it was I copied this I constructed this formula and then I copied it down one over to here and copied it up here to here and here uh, and ended up with 15 and 30 percent below and above my base case value. I also did the same thing for the other the other variables I wanted to uh, I wanted to do in the sensitivity analysis. Our weighted average cost of capital base case number is 10%. Uh, I wanted to do 15% and 30% below that, and so I have basically the same formula. I just copied the one that I did originally over here to weighted average cost of capital and then over here to units sold and salvage value. Now I'm going to use a data table to construct the values that are going to go into the sensitivity analysis. The first thing that you need in a data table is of course some data. We're going to be plugging in 140, 170, 200, 230, and 260 into unit sales price up here which is in cell B12. We'll end up plugging all of those into that cell. Uh, using the data table we want to record the value for net present value and so in the upper right hand corner of my data table I put in a cell reference pointing to the net present value. Now that net present value in cell B60 depends on all of the cash flows that I've constructed which themselves also depend on the inputs that I have up here uh, particularly in cell B11, B12, uh, B18, and B6. So once I have this, then in order to construct a data table, I highlight the entire yellow area. I've highlighted it in yellow for you. So you select it and you go to data up here on the top tab. And over here, it's a little hard to see, but it's, this is the what if analysis, the question mark. What if analysis data table and we have to fill in this dialog box. The dialog box gives you some, some somewhat cryptic uh, titles for the things that you need to fill in. Uh, the way I remember this is our data is in a column and so the question is where do I want the data that is in a column to go? So I want the data that is in a column that's right here. I want it to go uh, to that cell that was unit sales price which I think was B12 but we'll check and make sure. We scroll up uh, and unit sales price 
was cell B12. So notice that's now pointing to B12. And when I press OK on this, it's going to fill in my data table with the net present value for the project when unit sales price is 140, 170, 200, 230, and 260. And notice it filled them in all very nicely. Our base case was 88,000 NPV. That was our base case there. And you can always tell when you've done it right because the base case fills in correctly. Uh, notice that this only works if the base case is hardwired into the data table. If it's not hardwired in, you're going to get uh, an error and Excel won't tell you about it. You'll simply get the wrong answer. So you need to be sure that this number that's in light brown uh, is actually hardwired in. Now we'll do this for the other three. Weighted average cost of capital, what if analysis, uh, data table, column input cell is now going to be where our weighted average cost of capital is, which is over here in cell B18. Now when I press OK, it's going to fill in this weighted average cost of capital data table. And again, we notice that our base case number 88,000 NPV is still correct there. So it looks like it did that right. We'll also do unit sold. Data table. Column input cell. We'll go to unit sold. I actually called it something different than that in the model. I called it annual unit sales, but unit sold. Scroll down. Press OK and watch it fill in magically. And then finally, we'll also do the salvage value while we're at it. So salvage value, what if analysis, data table, column input cell, and it's going to point to our salvage value, which is up here at somewhere over here at cell B6. Scroll on down, fill it in. And now it's filled in. Now what we'd like to do is I'd like to graph this and uh, there are all sorts of different ways of constructing your graphs. I'm actually going to do this uh, in one fell swoop so that we have everything all in one place so that it's easy to construct the graph and in order to do that I want some in my left hand column of the data that I'm going to construct I want the x-axis which is going to be the change um, from base level and let's go ahead and format those as percentages and then I'm gonna want the NPVs for well I want the name first so the name is gonna be unit sales price for that column and I want the NPVs for those unit sales price so we're just point we're just using cell references pointing to these I want this one to be weighted average cost of capital and I want the NPVs for those and we've just got two more to go I want this to be the unit sold and I want this to be the NPV for that unit for those units sold I have everything yes I do and then the last one is salvage value um, all the way over here and I want to point to the NPV for that salvage value and copy it down and now I'm going to construct a graph the way I do this is I have let's make this a little bit smaller so that you can see the way I do this is I have uh, my x-axis is going to be here. There's the name for the x-axis and I've got all of the various y variables here. So I'm going to highlight this whole thing. I'm going to go up here to insert and I'm going to insert a chart. We don't want to use a line chart. We want to actually use a scatter chart but we'll look at various things that we can do with it. We'd like a scatter chart with some um, lines on it and if you just hover over it you'll notice that well that's not the one that I want that doesn't display it the way I want it to but if you go over here to more scatter charts it should give us some possibilities that will tell us how the variables uh, how the variables might look if we uh, click on the one with the lines on it it did it one way the one on the left <laughs> let's see if I can put it over here 
If you could go over here under all charts on the left hand side, well that's not a very good one, but over here on the right hand side that is the one that we want. So let's click that one and OK. And it inserted the data just beautifully and we now have a sensitivity analysis that's appropriately labeled. This is the percent change from base. This is the sensitivity line for unit sales. Notice it's the steepest one because a 30% change in unit sales represents a huge change in the NPV, whereas the one that's the least steep, which is the weighted average cost of capital, a 30% change in the weighted average cost of capital doesn't really make very much of a difference. Uh, and so that's it. The only thing that was hard about that was actually identifying the right kind of graph that will give you the right kind of picture. And so if you go through the more charts, uh, the more types, then you'll be able to select the correct one.